This episode brought to you by Clyde's Corner. Coming up on the show, it's the Jared episode. We have a leaderboard update of new video featuring Jared and an interview with the man, the myth, the legend himself. All that and more is coming up right now. We're bucking around live on Twitch. And I can't drink oh, in so this. We're going to tilt can't these do that. down. You're saying they're fake? <laughs> Welcome back to Bucking Around, everybody, your one-stop shop for everything you need to know about Big Buck Hunter. I'm Callum Fletcher, joined, as always, by Mike Colesworthy. Howdy. David Gonzalez over in the production blind. Hello. And Jess Petro specifically told me to shut up, so hey, Jess. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you guys, I've often wear those beards for, like, the entire show. Is that uh, not possible? My, that's actually, they were really hot. That's, uh, <laughs> it's quite a task, having it a beard so God, mighty. I'm sweating. Yeah. Yeah, well, Jess, blue. you shush. <laughs> <laughs> you shush. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, anyway, welcome back. Last time on the show, we played some community showdowns. As Mike said, we've got the legend himself, Jared Erlinson, the Messiah of Big Buck, coming down, doing, not coming down, but doing an interview, joining us on the phone. That's right. We, uh, we tried our best to run a broadband internet line out to Beldenville, Wisconsin. It didn't reach. It didn't reach. <laughs> so we're going to have him on the phone. That's right. But it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do some gameplay while we're going through the leaderboard. So why don't we just jump on into that right away? That's right. It's leaderboard up there. All right, leaderboard update, a segment Buck, while we talk about people who play Big Buck. And while we're on the topic, Mike, do you remember those numbers off the top of your head, or would you like uh, a, you know maybe what? a note card? Uh, or maybe, would you like me to read them? You know what, you have the <laughs> note card. Last week, I was the one sitting at the, uh, the little side table here. This time you are, so I'll let you do the honors. Are you, are you saying the sidekick table? Sidekick. Am I the sidekick you're, today? You're my sidekick today. <laughs> Ooh, ouch. All right, well, anyway, guys, last week we had 2,955. We broke 3,000 unique qualifiers for this year's World Championship. We are, which is a growth of, sorry, 165, leaving us at 3,120 people attempting to qualify for this year's World Championship. Wow. And, of course, that'll boil down to the top 64 from all over the globe. And while we are on the topic of players all over, Let's just start off on top with the United States skill-based players. Sound USA! Good? USA! <laughs> now, of course, guys, keep in mind that with the qualifiers, uh, each month a new animal opens up. So anyone who plays those animals gets that advantage. Yeah. Only temporarily until everyone else kind of kicks it up yeah, and starts we playing. A fresh one. Fresh. So you'd think if Ryan Hodgson or someone like Brian Hodgson were to be unseated. <laughs> yeah, it would be in the beginning of a month, correct? Uh, that's the most likely time. But, well, you know, we... you know what? You're wrong. What? I'm wrong. We're all wrong. Ryan Hodgson still sitting in on that number oh. one spot. Philip Bupre climbing up to number two, though, and of course Philip was one of the players who plays out uh, in that area. Goes up to Ryan's tournaments and leagues, I believe. Uh, we've got some other movement all over the board. Samantha Intriari is jumping up to number five. Scott Van Humisen's climbing. Patrick Keelan, Rogelio Anguiano slipping down to six. Movement, every, see, it's, it's hard. It's all over it's, the place, It's yeah. tough because there's so much upward movement, again, because as, if you can play before someone else can play, that's right. That's yeah. it right there. We're looking at a sample set of the people who uh, jumped on right away and started playing uh, Elk. And I, I will so. tell you right now, guys, this leaderboard will be entirely different next week. Yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah. So let's not waste any time. Jump over to the wild cards. Keep pace with Mike's shooting, which is going a hell of a lot better than mine last week. <laughs> But anyway, guys, American cool. Wildcard Steve Herring has taken that first spot. Mike Forrest slipped down to number two. Steve Herring making a move. Huh? Yeah, we've got a lot of moves. Again, a lot of downwards, a lot of upwards. Wow. Chris Burgess and Chris Exberger coming in at third and fourth. Travis Pastrana slipping down to fifth. Have Ooh. no fear, though. It's been pretty clear that him and his gang are going to be there. I think so. so yeah, yeah. Fingers crossed. Derek Tower going to number 13 in the wildcard spots. Going around this list, Melinda Van Humison scooting up. And then there's some names that I'm not too familiar with, like Wesley Akers. Um, mm -hmm. Shirley Ann McMurtry is taking down to 26. What was she last week? Was she, she was pretty hot, wasn't she? I think she was higher. You know, in addition to the, the main leaderboard being all mixed up, this one gets a little mixed up, too, because, you know, the, uh, the people who maybe haven't had a chance to play the new Elk tournament, uh, whew, it's hard to focus. 
uh, <laughs> got like pushed into wildcard all of a sudden because they have high cumulative scores at this point. Uh, but not enough to get onto the main leaderboard. Sure. So there's there's some flip flopping that happens at least during this this uh, time period. Absolutely. So with that, let's head down to the land down under where we have the Australian skill based players. Yes. Glenn Rattray sitting in at number one still. Renee Brooks still holding that number two. Well, two, I shouldn't say still holding that number two. It looks like Renee Brooks has climbed to number two after being from third. A little switcheroo with Mick Hassler. Yeah. Sally Porter and Neil climbing up the ladders. And again, guys, there are only one skill-based qualifier coming and a wild card coming from Australia. We already have two pre-qualified players. Yep. Courtney McLaughlin, of course, who was there last year, and Mark Santander, who won the SSA boat tournament. Coveted spot. That's right. So it's going to be a... Hell of a lot of fun with uh, four Aussies this year. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, you know, we'll throw some boomerangs around. That's we'll, uh... probably not the <laughs> most sensible thing to do, but <laughs> no? what okay. is the most sensible thing to do is jumping on over to the wild cards. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> and Renee Brooks, who was sitting in second on the skill base, is actually number one, number one in the wild cards with Mick Hassler, number two. And none of the top three in this ladder have moved at all, guys. However, it is important to note that Renee Brooks and Mick Hassler fighting for that second possibly second spot in the tournament. Of course, we've got three players fighting for that top three. They're just right there. Right, Shaw Shawshank Redemption sliding down to number five. Sean. Sean Chadwick, yep. I love your names. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to give you some praise, but as much as I hate to say this, you gotta play under your legal ID. Yeah. Maybe not next week though, maybe if you have something clever. <laughs> just throwing it out there. You've got a little just, bit of time. Just throwing you it out there. a little bit of time, but don't <laughs> let it run out on you. It's a, that's a dangerous game you're playing there, Chad. And Chad. Up Sean door. Chadwick. Sean. Chad. Chad Shawwick. What? Can I, have I can't. You are way better at multitasking than I am. <laughs> Can we send it up north to uh, the Canada qualifiers? And of course, there's only one player coming out of Canada, guys. Drew Baldock sitting in at number one, playing out of BP South, along with Brennan Doggerwalk and a few other players here. Yeah. And this is something we noted on last week. Lauren Hope. Yeah, has she's been a climbing. big story. Big story. Now, yeah. Drew Baldock, for those of you guys who don't know or maybe you missed the episode, uh, Drew Baldock and Lauren Hope are significant others. They are mm -hmm. dating. Uh, they both came down to the studio, checked it out, did the whole tour, and hung out with us for the day. Yeah, that was a fun episode. You should go watch it if you haven't already. But not right now. <laughs> Good plug. Now, something to note, though, is Drew Baldock said that there would basically be a shootout tournament if there was a close contest. Yeah, that was really impressive to me, The uh, just kind of that humble... Yeah, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's very Canada, but... Yeah, uh... but here's the thing. <laughs> what if it's between him and Lauren? Ooh. Right. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, exactly. So maybe she's coming up going, you know what? You, you said there'd be a shootout tournament. I'm going to try and take it from you. Guys, don't break up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really like you guys together. All right. Anyway, <laughs> Global Top 24 while we're at it. Ryan Hosden what about sitting. The ladies tournament? Oh, I am so sorry. Absolutely good call, David. Let's send it over to the ladies' skill players. Not a lot of action going on. Melinda Van Humason sitting at number one. Lindsay Garver, Samantha Trayari. Now keep in mind, this is one long tournament. So they're probably all jumping into elk while they can. They've yep. got plenty of time for this. Uh, the only movement in this top 12 is Jennifer Israel and Alexis Murphy. And what do we call that? A switcheroo. No. 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 A dosi do. A dosi do. I've I've coined a term here on the show. That's right. a dosi do. Well, let's take a look at the wild cards where there's a little more action, but not as much. Shirley Ann McMurtry, Rhonda Doyle, and Jess Jess Schoss sitting in at the top three. Some big movements. Christina Gillis, or Christina Gillis, sorry, Christina Eddy, I know I said I'd keep you out of my mouth, but you're sliding down a little bit further, but so are other players like Julia Wilmotta. <laughs> Never heard of that. No, yeah, that's a new one. Her. Julia Wilmot, Julia we apologize for screwing up your name on this one, but nonetheless, it is what it is. <laughs> Whoops. Kelly D. Forrest moving on up, Sherry Hansen moving down, and some other names making an appearance. I cannot wait to see where this goes, but for now, we're going to check out the rank play. Top 24 once Here it, comes. it brings up Ryan Hodson sitting at number one. And of course, the Australians are keeping up with the contest with the United States players. Mark Santander and Baz Russell could stick during that number two and three still. Shawshank coming in at number four, moving on up. Oh, really? Yep. RAR and CJE are still separated. Both of them slipping down, though. RAR has gone down to six with CJE taking 13th place this week. Now, headshot mm. Howie has made his appearance, taking 23rd place as Federico rounds out the bottom of the board in 24th. So this Federico, is... Federico, 
this is a cool little, uh, we've got a lot of action on this board. I, I enjoyed this Global Top 24. I like that it presents this competition throughout the entire, uh, throughout the entire world of all the big buck players. I'm impressed that you got all of those. And with that, I'm I think good we at this game plan. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. And with that, I think we can wrap up the gameplay. Let's yeah. not get into any more. And let's take a look, Jess, at the buckshot of the week. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Buckshot of the week. I just want to beat this guy right now. Like he just, he just looks like he's got it going on. He does look I very mean, cool. I mean, if if this isn't like cool factor, a hundred thousand and six. <laughs> then I don't know what it is. Yeah. I like what he's advertising there, though. Uh, competition grade, Big Buck HD. You hear a lot of this. I think he might actually even be wearing a Big Buck shirt. Is that really? a... Is that a is that a K? I see. It's, Maybe. It's an RK. RK. Uh, well, RK. Big hey. Burke. Big, Big Burke. Big Burke Hunter. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I uh, you know, there's a lot of chatter all the time on the Buck Hunters unofficial Facebook page about competition grade machines. Callum, can you talk a little bit about what a competition grade machine is? No. No? Yes, I can. It's a 42 inch <laughs> competitive grade, guys. It's what the, it's the cream of the crop for the players. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the competition. It's the model that we use at the World Championship. Is the model yeah. that we use on the show. Yeah. Uh, and of course, it is the most. Res uh, the players uh, have this mindset. It's the most responsive, which is yeah. at the end of the day, it's all personal preference from someone who's uh, done tournaments on all sorts of things. I mean, it is. It's personal preference. Some people like it. Some people don't. But it's what we use. So of course, the players love it. Yeah. So operators competition grade guys yeah i mean when drew was here you know he talked about how his game is not competition that's grade. right he, you know his monitor is set to some weird setting it wasn't pre-approved uh by us so it has all this lag and stuff so competition grade just makes sure that it's performing the way that we intended it to so uh yeah that's a that's a very cool thing and i bring it up because we are going to talk in a little bit uh, about how Clyde's Corner actually has two competition grade machines you don't say well while we're talking <clears throat> about Clyde's Corner you know what ashley before we talk about Clyde's Don't call corner. me Ashley. <laughs> Damn it, Mike. Before, we have fun here, gang. Before we talk about Clyde's Corner, uh, I'd like to give a little birthday shout out. That's should right. we? That's right. I think we should. Do, do, you wanna, do, we, do we want to both do it? Should we sing? I don't want to sing. Uh -huh. I'm not the best singer. I mean, we, we should we try? We announce it. We could all announce it. Together? Mm -hmm. At the same time? Happy birthday all of us? All three of us? Yeah, sure. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Stefan Sponsor! It's, uh, happy Chris birthday! <laughs> there it is, yeah. That's uh, right. Special request coming out, Christina Eddy. Yep, Christina Eddy got in touch with us uh, to take over part of the Sponsor Zone uh, and send some birthday greetings to uh, Stefan. And I, I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Stefan or Stephen, it's hard to tell. Uh, but either way, uh, from all of us to you, uh, all of us on the, the set here of Bucking Around, uh, and play mechanics. Happy birthday. That's right. And we'd sing, we'd throw confetti cannons, but you know what? We don't have any, so nor can we sing. Sorry, it's a little short notice. But nonetheless, happy birthday, my man. Yeah. And moving on to yeah. Clyde's Corner. Yeah, it's a two part day. <laughs> oh, it's an exciting day. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hey, Clyde's Corner. Listen, are you in or around Beldenville, Wisconsin, and feeling thirsty? If you said yes, what is wrong with you? That's right. Head over to Clyde's <laughs> Corner and let Jared, Sarah, and the gang cure whatever ails you guys. And uh, while you're there, be sure to train on one of their two competition grade That's right. Big Buck HDs. One of two. Yeah. One of two. And because, as any of our Jared fans from last year will tell you, Clyde's Corner is the place to train. It's where champions are made. That's absolutely right. That's absolutely August. right. And then last but not least. Yes. Sorry. Coming up August 27th, this is very, very exciting. I think we touched on it in some previous episodes sure. and stuff. But the Beer Bong Festival is coming back to Clyde's Corner on August 27th. The, so, the uh, Beer Bong Festival? The Beer Bong well, Festival. Jeez, Mike, what's that? Well, I'll tell you, Callum. <laughs> uh, the Beer Bong Festival was built around this amazing contraption. Uh, designed to empty a record number of beer kegs in a record amount of time. Now that sounds like something a buck hunter would be interested in. Absolutely. Uh, and it's turned into this big thing with live music and uh, all kinds of events and stuff. So, hey, even if you're not in Beldenville, make the trip. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to this year. Uh, did get an invite, but uh, I just, I, I always have something going on. It makes Sorry. me so mad. It is what it is, but it's a work in progress. But while we're at it, guys, let's meet one of Beldenville's finest. Yeah. One of Big Buck Hunter's finest. Let's meet Jared Erlinson. Can we roll the tape? Wow. 
My name is Jared Erlinson. I'm from Belvinville, Wisconsin, Clyde's Corner Bar. I've been playing Big Buck Hunter for about eight years now. Before they switched over to the HD, I was three years into it. The highest I've ever scored, I think, was six or seven. Sarah, she's my wife. First time she played me, crushed me. And it's been that way ever since. She's a better tournament player than I am. I'm here to have fun. She takes it serious. It's one of those things that my wife just started crushing it. Sarah wants to win something. Sarah wins every single time. I'm happy with it. Joint checking, that's fine. No big deal. We got married in Jamaica seven years ago, and we go to Jamaica every year. And with Buck Hunter, it's a free trip to Jamaica every year. If we could get the two of you up against each other, I would just love to see that matchup. Yeah, no, I quit. I'd walk away. You were just referred to as the Messiah of Big Buck Hunter. How do you feel about that? Well, I am the Messiah. You want to learn how to play, you come down to Clyde's Corner Bar. Because what we do at Clyde's Corner in Belleville, Wisconsin, is we just train winners. Our friends from New York like to come down and play in Clyde's Corner because we're a staple in Buck Hunter. There's a, you want to play at Clyde's Corner? Belvinville, Wisconsin, that's where you play at. But I'm 99% sure that my wife cuts my beard and my hair when I'm sleeping. We're going to win. You know what we got to do is we got to go straight up Scotty. Scotty Alloway, balling. <laughs> yeah, I got that guy to laugh, too. <laughs> There you have it, and uh, I have a feeling that a lot of you out there are thinking to yourselves, geez, that was amazing, if only I could have a little more Jared. Well, you are in luck, because right now, live on the phone, we have Jared Erlinson himself. Jared, hello. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you, how are you doing, <laughs> my man? Good, just fantastic. Awesome, awesome. thank you for joining uh, us. Yeah. All right, Wish all right. we could so do the Skype thing, but we're in Belleville, so our internet is a <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a totally it understandable. Work. Don't worry about it, buddy. Uh, we're just going to dive right in here, if you don't mind. So first and foremost... Yeah, don't worry, boss. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for making time for us today. Uh, did you find somebody to man the bar? Not really, but I think they're going to do fine by themselves right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, cool. But they're kind of doing stuff, and... People are still drinking, so it's pretty cool. Hey, that's good. That's, that's what matters. Jared, I do have a question for you. How did you guys become the owners of Clyde's Corner? How did that happen? Well, what do you mean? Like, well, I mean, we bought I, a bar. That, okay, you bought a bar. <laughs> you bought a bar. So, I mean, did you wake up one day and you're just like, you know what? We should buy a bar. It's pretty much 100% how that went down. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. It's like you were there. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah, so, yeah. Is so uh, tell me, Jared. Really good, I wish I had a good story for it, but it was, <laughs> no, that's all good. That's a pretty good, good story if you ask Just me. Just like you did it. That's kind of the dream, man, and that that actually leads into my next question: Is owning a bar as cool as it sounds? It, well, it depends if becoming a raging alcoholic is <laughs> cool or not. Because then it is. It's pretty awesome. awesome. But yeah, it's great. It's a uh, now now, Jared. If you ever get out there. If we ever get out there, what's the best thing on the menu? Uh, for food or booze? Uh, let's do both. Let's do both, yeah. Well, we well, our pizzas are the number one. I mean, we okay. make all of our pizza, stuff pizza. fresh. I wouldn't so. have expected that. I didn't expect You gotta pizza. eat our pizza. Yeah, I gotta and say, I, the... <laughs> I briefly looked up uh, Clyde's Corner on Yelp, and you have a perfect five out of five stars. Granted, that's from one review, but it's enough to get yeah, me Yeah, did you interested. see that? That was a good review. That was a, that was a really good review, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Jared, uh, we got, what's the best drink? Yeah. Well, lime vodka. You got to go old school with that. Just All right. So bunch of lime right. vodka and a glass. That's, that's about that's, it. That's sounds good. excellent. Sounds pretty good. So, speaking of that, uh, the you Big Buck Buzz is something that uh, we speak about at length here on the show. Uh, what do you like to keep it at arm's length when you're playing Big Buck? What's that now again? We, we talk a lot about the big buck buzz, you know, the state of mind you need to be in in order to, to be your best at Buck Hunter. What do you like to keep nearby to drink while you're playing? Oh, man. Well, it's usually like a cranberry drink. A cranberry, a cranberry drink? Any, 
anything red, but anything it's got to have a lot of vodka in it. That's, <laughs> all right. There's, there's the answer. As long, it has, as long as it has vodka and it's sure. red when you're playing vodka on it, you're, you're yeah. going to be light. So off. that's, that's, that's Jared's big buck buzz. Yeah, well, I'll know what to get you. All right, Jared. Now, yeah. I, know you, I know you know you weren't going to sneak out of this interview without any questions about Sarah, so I do have one for you. Because of her domination oh, yeah. in the ladies' tournament, She's had all sorts of media coverage, and she's got a big target on her back uh, through all the other players. Do you think that adds f fuel to her fire, or do you think it adds pressure when she's competing? Oh, man. Like, have you ever met her? Like, have you ever <laughs> talked to her? <laughs> Good point. So fuel to, fuel, fuel to the fire, then, yeah? Yeah, uh, yeah I was just fuel to the fire. She don't give a shit. Like, it, straight up, keep talking jazz, and she's going to crush you. Right I've on. been dealing with that stuff for like seven years now. So. <laughs> right on. And uh, so the more that... jazz you talk, the better she's gonna get. Right, right, right. right. So, have either of you uh, been recognized in public for being big buck legends? Well, is it me talking about a big buck legend, or is it like someone else? Anybody. I mean, you know, you guys, you guys are kind of <laughs> local celebrities in Beldenville, and yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, well, not so much me. I kind of stay in the distance. and uh, But Sarah, she gets all kinds of... We're pretty close to a college. So yeah. she gets all kinds of young bucks coming down here that want to better. And I just sit back and... Take their money? Just watch the money. 20 bucks here, <laughs> yeah. 40 bucks there. And then <laughs> that it's is pretty sweet for me. I don't have to do shit. And I get some more... More That's, drinks, though. And you yeah. get more drinks. That's perfectly yeah. fair. Now, Jared, last year at the World Championship, uh, upon your unfortunate removal on Friday night, you kind of became <laughs> this messiah of Big Buck. You were the, the, the proclaimed messiah, and we saw all sorts of free Jared chants coming up in the Twitch <laughs> chat and all of that. What was your reaction when all of that happened? That was super funny, by the way. But <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's funny I, how that I, happened. I mean, it, it was it was you genuinely became a celebrity within seconds. Yeah, yeah it was just talking jazz. I guess that's all it is is yeah. having fun. I, and then uh, that's what I think Buck, Big Buck Hunter is anyway. It's just having a good time. And that's good. I had a I little bit too myself. good of a time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, I was asked, but did you see how tall that dude was when he kicked me out? <laughs> yeah, that guy was big. He was. That he was really a very, big. very the biggest tall dude man. I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> his name is also not. His name's also not Sven, by the way. Not Sven. Not Sven. Like All right, well, I don't think he was that. Ivan either. <laughs> yeah. Pri oh, so uh, so Bruce. prior prior to not Sven uh, removing you from the venue, uh, you did make quite a case for Clyde's Corner being the place. Uh, to train for the world championship. Have you found that people have heeded your advice? Oh, yeah. We got a crew coming down this year, and we're pretty much going to destroy everybody, I think. Right on, right it's, on. All right, it's, strong word. It's kind, of, it's kind of sick. As long as we can keep Joe Miller out of there, <laughs> and maybe, maybe, maybe Trev, because those guys are super good. But the Scotty Snipers, yeah. No, we got a we, 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 uh, we got a, we got a nice, nice little crew that we've been training, and Oh yeah, well, I can't we're wait. Pretty to... much, we're pretty much going to crush everybody. Yes. I can't <laughs> wait to meet everyone. I can't wait to see all of you guys again. <clears throat> um, but you guys are always a ton of fun. And speaking of tons of fun, themed parties and epic events have just seemed to become this culture at Clyde's Corner. Uh, can you? Oh, yeah. Do you have a favorite one? Well, we have the world's biggest beer bong that's going to happen here in about three weeks. Right. On. So that's that's your favorite. Well, holy Christ, we dumped five kegs in 45 seconds. That's wow. Holy <laughs> wow. Yeah, we, we talked about it a little bit on the show before we before we uh, got you on the line. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad to put oh, some man, actual it, numbers to that. Have you ever seen fucking 310 people get white girl drunk in, like, <laughs> six seconds? That's quite a feat. It's super funny. Yeah. It, it, well, uh, speaking of the beer bong, uh, whose idea was it to build it? Well, it originally started with my idea to make the longest beer bong. So we were going to stand on top of a cliff and drop beer down like what? 200, 300 feet. That is but so then cool. we realized that that would just crush your soul. It might yeah. maybe explode the back of your head. <laughs> <laughs> That's some wily coyote <laughs> stuff right there, yeah. Yeah, so we, we X that. And then there, it was all Sarah. She, she was like, hey, maybe we should just make it really long and put a shitload of beer in there. Like, yep. 
Fair enough. That sounds cool. like a better idea. No one will die. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one no. will die. I like that's probably the best metric. Now, real quick, just to loop back, you said how many kegs and how fast? Five kegs in forty-five seconds. Wow, kegs in forty-five. <laughs> that's seconds. intense. Holy. Yeah, it's pretty fun, dude. All right. If any of you guys that are listening want to come down, it's just a blast. Awesome. But, and that's August twenty-seventh, right? We got concerts and stuff, and that's right. It's it's the last. The last Saturday in August, so it's August 27th this month. Yeah, cool, yeah. cool. August 27th, yes. Uh, do you have any more for Jared? That's, I've, my last question's done. Okay, so my last one actually ties into this, Jared. Uh, the festival around the beer bong seems to get uh, bigger and better every year. Uh, what are some of your favorite yeah. things that you guys have done in the past, and what can people look forward to this year? Well, that we're going we're gonna to start doing? Yeah. Uh, you I know, I, I, I know, for, for example, you, you guys had Alien Ant Farm perform there. Yeah, we just had a bummer run. So we had Crowbot coming, and Crowbot said Nego on it. And now we're, we got country. So apparently we live in the country. <laughs> and, uh, this just did. I didn't know that. I'm a pretty big death metal guy, so that's what I've been trying to push. But oh, now we just got a country show going. All right. Well, that's cool. That's cool. So I'm going to be super pissed the entire time, but I pe apparently people around here like that. Give I'm, the people what they want, right? <laughs> I'm sure you'll find uh, yeah. some other ways to be happy. All right, Jared. Oh, yeah, I'll be. Sorry, you go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, I say, it'll be great. It's always fun. And like I said, anybody that wants to come down, Klein's Corner, we either teach you how to uh, just crush it and buck on her or drink a shitload of beer, one of the two. <laughs> white, white Girl Drunk and Big Buck Lessons from the Champ and the Messiah themselves. Now, Jared, before we wrap up this interview, we've got a little speed round we want to do with you. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask you a this or that question. And as quick as you can, yep. off the top of your head, whichever one comes to your head first. You ready? Yep. All right. All, right. I'm All right. I'll kick this off. All right. The power of flight or the power of invisibility? Uh, flight. Beer or liquor? Ducks are cool. <laughs> liquor. Green gun or orange gun? Holy fuck. Neither. Just whatever <laughs> one else. Neither. <laughs> fried curds or fresh curds? Oh, fresh. Shave your beard or shave your head? Die. Die. <laughs> die. <laughs> Just no hesitation. Just die. Done. <laughs> what about tacos or brats? Tacos or brats? That's right. Oh, man. I do tacos. Tacos. <laughs> Hunting or fishing? Hunting. Cats or dogs? Cats. Winter or summer? Winter? Winter or summer? <laughs> oh, winter. Chinese takeout or pizza delivery? Oh, man, if it only takes 15 minutes, Chinese takeout. <laughs> there you go. Jameson or Fireball? Every ch oh, Jameson. Now, hold on. What were you going to say? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably for the best. I kind of regret saying yeah, what yeah. were you going to say? All right, you left off on 11, <laughs> right? Yep. All right, Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Trek. Uh, rock or country? John Luke Picard all the way. Okay. Card all, right. all the way. Rock or country? Rock. Change the past or see the future? All of them. <laughs> all, all of them. Okay. <laughs> all right. And uh, this is our personal favorite. Would you rather be a robot warrior or a dinosaur cowboy? Holy fuck. I don't even know. That just blew my mind. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to have to go with the dinosaur one. Dinosaur, dinosaor cowboy. cowboy it there is. it is. All right, well, yeah. Jared, I cannot thank you enough for being on the show with us today. Thank you for uh, setting some time aside. Yeah, well, thanks for having me on. And, uh, that, that was a blast of an interview. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope to see you guys at the end of the month. And even more so, I cannot wait to see you guys at this year's World Championship down in Austin, Texas. Oh, we'll be there. Like I said, we're going to crush everybody, so get ready for that. Awesome. Right, awesome. Well, that's big, <laughs> big words out of Jared Erlinson to everyone watching. They will be crushing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks All right, again, Jared. Take it easy, man. Take it easy, Have a good man. night, Jared. Peace. All right. That was that was a very fun interview. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I'm still. <laughs> I'm <laughs> gonna be smiling about that one for a while. <laughs> now, guys. Of course. Ooh, uh oh. Sorry. And, and just so you guys know, you probably noticed we're wearing a brand new shirt design. We haven't released it before. That's right. So I'm gonna jump up Ooh. on my ledge, and Mike's gonna stand. Yeah. So uh, tell me, is Jared your homeboy? Of course, he's your homeboy. And uh, do we have Jess back on the line? 
We do. Yeah. Jess, there you are. Do you want to? Do you want to? Well, tell that was friends? a stressful situation. Stressful situation. <laughs> uh, do you want to tell our friends about how they can get their hands on this shirt for perhaps a little less than normal? Yeah. So there is a promo going on. If you use the promo code Heat sixteen H E A T one six, you can get fifteen percent off of your merchandise and. Not only is the Jared is my homeboy shirt available in a premium and standard um, versions, but there's also some other new designs up there as well. So you might you might be uh, stuck on the site for a little bit deciding which one you want. All right. Yeah, of course, cool. guys, that is bigbuckhd.com slash store. Yeah. So if you guys want to check out this shirt, check out some of the new shirts, maybe check out some of the old, whatever you want to do. Again, that code is HEAT16, H-E-A-T-1-6, for 15% off. 15%. That's pretty significant. Uh, it's it's certainly not a bad deal. No. I, I think the Jared shirt actually is um, scientifically proven to enhance your game as well. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And handsomeness. And, and handsomeness. handsomeness. <laughs> and and you might actually grow a beard while wearing it. Oh. Just oh. I think it's already working. As soon as you take it off, it's gone. Yeah. Oh, Jess, I think I see it growing in on you already. Oh, I've been working on it. I've been wearing this shirt all day. <laughs> all, right. all right. Guys, that is actually going to wrap up this week's episode. Uh, it was a hell of a lot of fun. That was yeah. an awesome interview. Oh, yeah. uh, it was cool getting to, getting to know Jared. Of course, make sure you check out Clyde's Corner August 27th if you're in the area. If you're not, make a trip up there for the world's biggest beer bomb. Oh, man. And make sure you guys keep on qualifying for this year's world championship down in Austin, Texas. Do we have anything we want to add on before we're done? Wrap it up? Uh, just hit up those social channels you see underneath. Uh, give us a like, a favor to subscribe. Uh, I would personally very much appreciate it. All right. <laughs> and again, all of us would appreciate it, maybe. But maybe. me the most. But maybe Mike the most. All right, Mike guys. The most. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Callum. I'm Mike. I'm David. I'm Jess. And we're the cast and crew of Bucking Around. You guys have a great night. Thank you. See you. Nighty Adios. night.